What is going on guys? Welcome to another beautiful Hawaii adventure out here today on the kayak with me ancient. Uh, he and I are going fishing today in the kayak, but first we have something new. We're gonna go around here. You see that rock point right out there. We're gonna go to that rock point and there's some tide pools around it and we're gonna find some little minnows and little fish, try to catch them in a net and then we're gonna take them out way out there to a reef and drop them down over the reef, try to catch a big fish. Yeah, guys, check out how clear and beautiful the water is. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect conditions for fishing. That was a little intense. First stop of the day. All right. That was a little intense there. All right, on this spot here we will, oh yeah, tide pool's looking good. It is low tide, which is the only way to catch them because they're kind of trapped. So here's the strategy. My dad is gonna go stand over it right there. And uh, I'm gonna get at the, at the mouth of this and he's gonna scare the minnows toward me. Uh, one. One, two. It's acted as kind of a gill net. Yeah, it is. Isn't it's it? four. How many do we have? I think we have nine, three, six. Yeah, no, ten, three, six, nine. We have nine. Nine. Excellent. Well, guys, that that was a good okay. first. All right, guys, we have one more on here. All right, chase. Yep, yeah, pops, pops. Chase him. Chase him now. All right, no, no. I mean, because once it slows out. Yep, keep going, keep going. We got several. Okay, I'll put it back off in case they come back in. No, see, Pops, they're, they're escaping as we speak, so. Hey, Pops, Pops. Oh, Pops, we got so many. Look at this, guys. Look at this. We have more minnows. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We've got like. Hey. Hey. Nice Look at that, guys. All right, now we're cooking. Now we got some bait there. I see one, two, three, like 12 right there. Got a nice dozen. All right, guys, there is our bait of the day. A ton of really good minnows. I'm gonna release this little aquarium looking fish that we caught. It's so beautiful though. I'm gonna take that guy home from my aquarium. There you go. Right, fellas, I need volunteers. Some lively, quick, and brave fellows to go on a special mission beneath the surface. All right, guys, there we go. A little glass minnow hooked right through the lips with a fairly small hook. Let's lower him down there. Let's hope this is dynamite like we hope it is. Hopefully catch stuff on all that stuff. Well, I'm getting a bite already. Got one. Are you kidding me? That Are fast. Me? It's a decent fish too. <laughs> guys. He's turning the kayak. Guys, <laughs> I mean like, uh, okay, I look at my GoPro, it's at 50 seconds. I already have a fish. Oh wait, it's a huge needle fish or something. Oh yeah, it's a big needlefish. How cool. Whoa. Oh, it's a trumpet fish, actually, in the same family. This is a huge one. Look at this dude. This is my this is like my personal best trumpet fish. Holy mackerel. Guys. Whoa. Guys, wait till you see the colors. I mean. Ah, he whips you with his tail. Look at that. Look how he's striped. Big eyes. That is so, so cool. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. Some people eat these, I don't think we will. But I mean, uh, less than a minute, 
on the, uh, well, less than a minute on the minnow. Oh. That's interesting you hit that low, too, you know, because you were down there. I, I usually think those are the Oh, no, they're at oh. the bottom. Right? Yeah, they're near the bottom. That's right. Oh, there he goes. And uh, he swims off. Sweet. Another morsel. I guess I just barely hook him through the lips. I don't really hook him through the head even. It's, it's just right through like the cartilage in the lips. Make sure you don't like hit the brain or anything so it stays alive. And uh, let's see how long it takes this time. I'm getting a bite. I'm getting a bite. Guys, guys, guys. I, I got another one. I got something else. Guys, uh, uh, 45 seconds I see on the on the GoPro. Oh, it's another one. <laughs> That's small one. It must be in a school. We might have to move if there's a hole, because these can school up. But still, another cool fish. Oh. Oh, they whip you with their tail. It kind of stings. Oh, there you go. Hey, maybe catch a chocolate trump of fish. So I should catch a big one. Oh, there he goes. There you go, buddy. <laughs> that is neat. So I lip hooked this guy. Something gutted him. Took out an eyeball. That's grizzly. That is grizzly. Those Dude. fish are very precise. I mean, they have their <laughs> yes, little nipper mouths yeah. come and just bite the eyeball off and stuff. That's a tough way to go. Through here a little more. Yeah, but I, I don't think you can see it, but there's still more coral right there's there ahead of us. Okay. So we're, we're around it. We're yeah. sand right under us. But oh, wait, I just got a really good bite. <gasps> got him. Oh, he, he just thumped, just like bam. Nice. Clobbered it. Nice. Uh, you could, I, I can just envision the fish <laughs> sucking it up because it was, it was uh -huh. that thump of just like inhaling it. I love it. Good doubles. What do we got? Ooh, Wait, what? Oh my gosh. It's a huge. This is a huge truck. Oh my gosh. Ooh, we might have to eat this. Holy mackerel. <laughs> I didn't know they got this big. Uh, Seriously. I've seen them underwater that big. Oh, real? I did not. I've never seen one this massive. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. Holy mackerel, guys. Well, that's a that's a trumpet. Yeah, that's not needle. Guys, there are different kinds. There are needle fish, trumpet fish, coronet oh, fish. Yeah. Or no, this is oh, this is a coronet fish. Coronet. So yeah, coronet fish. Sorry. Yeah, not trumpet. They kind of get mixed, all mixed up. They're all in the same family. I, I did not know they got this big. Oh, good knit. <laughs> Does this guy have teeth at this size? The little ones don't have teeth. Stick your hand in there we go. I stuck. I checked. I stuck my hand in there. Oh, my oh he's got a bite though. Guys, good net. How long is that? That's a good four foot. You know what? I'm the, it, it, oh, it's to the second guide. Oh yeah. On yep. this rod, so we'll measure that. Holy, I, I, holy coronet fish, <laughs> Batman. Good net. That's pretty though. That, that is line, pretty. That line. Guys, look at the the colors, the little like blue markings on it. Well, there you go, buddy. Guys, we're going for one final paddle before this wind knocks us off the water. Whoa, look at this wave. Woo! We're gonna go out there and uh, do one final drift. Since we have the final drift of the day, you see a little uh, minnow on there. And the wind is just getting too much for us out here. So we're drift one more time. Head back home. So at this point, I have to switch over to a voiceover because the wind was so gusty that it ruined the audio for the GoPros. 
But we're chugging along there. My dad's actually paddling back towards shore. We thought he'd keep we thought we'd keep our lines out there. And watch my dad's rod in the back there. <laughs> Luckily, he grabbed it. Uh, we have some rod holders, but they're not very reliable. And so I'm trying to record it on this GoPro, as you can see, and something's wrong. I'm like, what the heck? The GoPro freezes up. The Hero 7, for me anyway, freezes up every once in a while, and it, it froze up there. So um, I spent several seconds trying to get it going, and it just wouldn't go. So I gave up and uh, figured the front camera captured it. But <laughs> like I say, the audio is terrible for it. And it was a gray snapper, another Uku. And this was one of the bigger ones we pulled up this trip. It's about two, about three pounds, I would say. And uh, one of the one of the better ones, except for that really, really that monster one that I caught on the boat trip. If you guys watch that episode, but the biggest one for the kayak of the year. So we were very excited about this. Um, in between the cornet fish and this Uku. Uh, we didn't catch much, so we actually had to work really hard for the game fish on this day. I know it doesn't seem like it, but a lot of time had elapsed between when I caught this cornet fish and then caught this fish literally within, you know, the last five minutes of the day. So we were very happy. Uh, got it safely in the fish bag. Sometimes they, they get it away before you can get them in the fish bag, but, uh, had some fresh fish and we have a really cool way of cooking them we're going to do today. Released the rest of the minnows there. Uh, some were dead, but a few of them were alive. And uh, I would say they were the lucky ones, but every fish in Hawaii, I'm pretty sure, loves to eat a silver flashy ghost minnow. And they had a long ways to get back to shore. So. I am so glad that my dad caught this at the end. We had to work hard. <laughs> it's uh, It was been on ice, so it kind of... Uh, froze up there. I'm so glad my dad caught this right at the end because we had to work hard for our fish today. Caught some cool ones, but we had to work hard for them. It's gonna be kind of hard to fillet. Oh, never mind. There we go. Bend him back into shape. We're going to do a regular fillet on this fish because guys, we are doing something brand new on my channel. Um, I'll give you guys the history of it in a second, but we're basically doing fish nachos. We made these the other day, off camera, and they were delicious. Honestly, one of the things I love so much about the snapper, why it's become our favorite, is not only the taste, but the ease of filleting it. Like, the skin is so thick, it comes right away, but the flesh is very, very soft. It's so delicious and easy to cut up like this. Cut it to nice steaks. We're actually going to share a few of these steaks with our friends. Since this is a decent sized snapper, it actually might have some cheek meat. Um, there we go. A little medallion right there. And you know that's going to be more tender. And the fish carcass in the cooler there. Definitely don't want to just toss out in the ocean. Uh, we have people swimming right over there. Full confession, one time. This is when we were teenagers. My brothers and I caught a uh, houndfish, actually, and decided, let's eat a houndfish. So we fillet it up, and we threw the carcass right off this point. And about an hour later or so, here comes a shark. It was a small shark. In our defense, it was small. But there was a shark that was trying to eat the carcass of the houndfish um, out here. And uh, yeah, so we learned our lesson. All right, my friends, now it is time to get cooking. We have here a frying pan. So we add butter first, then we add the gray snapper. We filleted it, so all the bones should be gone. And for seasoning, we're gonna be using Ace's first cast seasoning. If I may say so, the best seasoning in the world. <clears throat> what are you guys laughing at? You guys don't think my seasoning is the best seasoning in the world? You guys don't think my seasoning is the best seasoning in the world? I don't know. <laughs> These are some I've subscribers. What's your name? Mia. Mia. Oh, that's Mia. a pretty name. Mia? Yeah. That's pretty. And what's your name? Nahani. Nahani. Whoa, Mia and Nahani. That's a pretty name. What's your name? Um, John Nolan. John? John Nolan. John Nolan. Very cool. What's your name? Cashton. Cashton? That's a cool name, too. Akai. Akai. Whoa, you guys all have really cool names. I have an unusual name, too. My real name's Asa. 
ASA. ASA. Wow, we all have unusual names. That's cool. Some subscribers there watching me cook, and they're gonna probably sample some when we get done with this. We're gonna flip the fish here. Oh yeah. <laughs> here. Hasn't been cooked enough either. I like it dark brown myself, so it needs to be cooked more. All right guys, while the fish is cooking, it's almost done, but while it's still, yeah, see it's just still a little bit raw right in the middle. We're gonna separate it off since we're making nachos. Yeah, see that's raw in the middle there. But we're gonna flake it all off. We want it nice and, uh, uh, we want just lots of flakes since we're gonna put it over chips. And we're gonna do that right there. And just kind of mix it all together. Let's stir everything right up. We are looking good. We're gonna add now the final step here is the cheese on the fish. A lot of good cheese there. Get that kind of melted. We'll turn off the burner. All right, and that is a wrap right there, guys. Chips. Melty, cheesy fish. Now this is a dish we might have to do again. That just looks amazing. All right, guys, so we got some, uh, my dad's gonna assemble one, we got two plates of nachos. My dad's gonna assemble one with all the fixings, but this honestly looks so good that we're just gonna leave one plain with just cheese and fish. So he's gonna fix this one up real fancy though. Salsa, sour cream, lettuce. Got the old lettuce on there. Then I am going to add a a little bit of lemon. A little bit of lemon, eh? That or is a, a lime. Oh, I'm sorry. Lime. Okay, lime. I was like, that is a very green lemon. Yeah, because I like lime on everything. Oh, uh, I know you. There we go. Beautiful. That looks amazing. All right, guys. So we had some uh, some viewers, some subscribers join us here, and we have two huge plates of nachos. And so we're gonna dig in here, but first we're gonna say a quick prayer over our meals. We always pray over our meals, okay? Yeah. Everybody, hold their hands real quick. All right. Dear Lord, thank you for this food. I ask that you bless it to our bodies now and thank you for the bounty of the ocean. Through Jesus I pray, amen. 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 All right, everybody dig in here. Everybody grab you one. I'm here. going for the plain one, just eating the fish. Ah. I think I'll do that too. I only got a Oh, get, get you mm. some fish yeah, on Yeah, I got there. some fish on there. Mmm, mm. mm, that's really good. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah. the best. That is really good. That's so good. Mm. Like that, I think. Did you get some fish on yours? Oh. There you go. There we go. Let's load that thing up. You can take that one. When you think about fish tacos, you usually think about the ones that are in a hard shell or a soft shell and they wrap them up. But this is the same thing. It's just, it's just chips instead. Yes. Guys, we got this idea from uh, the other day. We were in the middle of making fish tacos. It wasn't a video. It was just a... Um, uh, it's just a family meal and we ran out of tortillas. We had a lot of fish left So my mom said I'm gonna make some fish nachos with this stuff left over and it was so good that we said We're gonna have to make a video mm -hmm. doing this. So that's where the idea came from mm. What do you think guys? Mm. 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 Yeah. That was really good. Really good. Yeah. good. I know I'm liking it. Fish nachos. Whoa, you're gonna take the whole <laughs> Wow. You, good grief. You want that piece? You're gonna take all the fish. <laughs> fish nachos, you gotta try this yourselves. It is amazing. Thank you, Pops. That was always fun fishing with you. Yes, indeed. Thank you guys for taste testing it with us. And thank you guys for watching, and we'll all see you guys in the next one.